One of the things also that I hear when the conversation of stem cells come up is somebody will inevitably come out and say, oh, I had stem cell therapy and it worked for a period of time and then it stopped working. Hmm. It's, it's an interesting statement for me because my question is always a couple things. Number one, how many cells did you get? Yeah. Where, where was your treatment done? And number two, um, what type of cells did you get? Yeah, so what I would answer with that is there's probably two reasons why. The first is like you said, where'd you get them from and what the number? If it's a small number, it's probably not enough to make a big enough difference and actually heal the issue. Mm -hmm. But it's enough that when you put mesenchymal stem cells into an injured area, they don't just guide the healing process, they actually set proteins on the opioid receptors. So they act like an opioid without having to take an opioid, which can reduce or even eliminate pain. Interesting. But again, you only get this time frame of say eight months to a year and it can be shorter. It just depends. Okay. So if you don't put a lot in there or they, we see this a lot. Like when I did my knee, for example, week one, it felt amazing. Week two, it hurt. I was like, dang it, this didn't work. Yeah, yeah. Week three felt great. Week four hurt less. Very back and forth because sure. the stem cells seek out inflammation. Mm -hmm. So they get there, they start guiding the process, they reduce it enough that they're like, okay, we can take off. It'll, it'll heal from here. Mm -hmm. Then you go walk around or do something to cause some more and they come back. Yeah. So it's that. And if you have a very limited number, sure. well, yeah, you're probably going to feel like, dang it, it was really working and it just stopped because you either didn't get enough, you got cells that were already too old from yourself, but man, this would be the main reasons that I would think of. Super interesting. The other thing that I would add to that is most body processes are not linear. So anybody who has children would know this, that when they go through uh, periods of growth, there's these periods where it's just this rapid growth spike. And then you can also have a kid who doesn't grow for an extended period of time. Like we have a family friend who was really worried about her, her son. Mm -hmm. And then he shot up like a foot in the crazy, like so <laughs> fast that he, that he got, he got, uh, you know, Osgood Schlatter's because uh -huh. the muscle pulled so hard. It, it just, or the bone grew faster than the muscle could accommodate. And it literally yeah. pulled a piece of the bone off. So, I mean, just, just <laughs> wild. Um, so the body processes don't tend to be linear, but I yeah. did not know at all what you just said about the uh, MSCs putting proteins in the opioid receptor. So I was mistaken then because I had an interaction with a doctor at a pain clinic who was using MSCs interchangeably as a pain treatment with prolotherapy and um, platelet-rich plasma injections. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, it just seemed like an inappropriate use or, or not really using the MSC to its full potential. Yeah, I don't think he probably was, but he, he was right for the pain management actually. Yeah. Okay, In <laughs> interesting. It's just, that's a very expensive way to go about pain and management. Like well, if, if your goal is just pain relief, like that would seem to be a, a overly complicated and expensive way to go. And I think we talked about it earlier. It's like, I think people, and I get to ask this all the time. They're like, well, how long will it last? Yes. And I go, well, it, it'll last, like is, it depends on the, the repair. Like what'd you injure, right? Yes. There's a lot of factors, but my knee, which is the first thing we did, the MRI showed multiple meniscus tears, partially torn ACL. Okay. That was like over eight years ago. We do the treatment. It took about two and a half months to be perfect, but it's weird. It's almost like overnight it just stopped hurting at the two okay. and a half mark, month mark. Okay. And it's never come back. Yeah. And it did have a little bit of like upper like patella issue on the kneecap this last year. So I did another MRI. I had a first degree arthritis under the kneecap, but my meniscus and ACL were still healed. Nice. The stem cells create real tissue regeneration. Mm -hmm. It's not a cover up. Yes. Yes. You can get that opioid effect temporarily and all that, but like the whole point of them is to get rid of scar tissue, yeah. figure out what's damaged, to get in there and guide it to heal. So like, and also that's why we use so many stem cells. We're really, really hoping this is a one and done kind of thing for people. If you enjoyed that short clip and you want to find out more about stem cells and specifically how to avoid the seven most common mistakes that people make when getting stem cell therapy, click the link in the upper right hand corner of your screen for my brand new ebook that talks all about it. I'll also put a link for that ebook in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button before you head out of here and I'll see you next time.